Hey, there we go, that's 44 Slayer, which we can now kill Sulfur Lizards with. I'm literally just playing guitar over here and uh, slaying at the same time, bit of AFK, it's great. Are we going to hit the mega rare drop table with a golden chest hat and a golden apron? Probably not, but that might actually be a new, you know what I'm gonna say, unique, let's go. It is about time. This is easy clue number 126, so we get an Armadale page, we don't have that book yet, so... Oh, we only have two Armadale pages, please, not page three, please! Yes, it's a new one, great! One more page and we've got the whole Armadale book completed. By the way, I'm getting these easy clues by just opening gourmet implings. I use them for food right now, and if I just open them, I get food, but sometimes also get an easy clue, like so. No, not like so, okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at the chat box! Look in the chat box! No way! No way, dude! There is no way, dude! Rocky, my boy! My boy! Welcome to the Only Trails channel! You're welcome here! You're accepted! You little freaking. How the fuck did I do this? 61 thieving. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so much hate. I'm gonna get so- I'm gonna get flamed! I'm just spam clicking this monster farmer boy here. Trying to get some irrit seeds, bit of Raynars. Oh my god. All right, this episode, except for the crazy thing that just happened, <laughs> is mostly going to consist of easy clues, farming, and herb lore. Also, maybe a bit of achievement diaries if I can actually do them. I'm going to check it in a small second. Just so I can finish up all my farming grinds so I can get as close to 57 herb lore as I possibly can. So, here we go. And that's a start, 5.9k, you know what? Sure. There we go, I just completed the achievement diaries of the Kandarin area. Uh, we have to go to the wedge outside of Camelot to claim our reward. It is actually the only achievement diary I can complete. All the others require either room crafting or construction or something else with a quest I can't do. So that's actually really annoying because it's always just one step I can't do. So <sighs> It's the struggle of this account, I really don't mind. I'm going to get one lamp right now and it's actually one of the best, Kandarin. Very good, very good rewards from this one. Now we get the beautiful lamp from the wedge over here and we are going to rub that and put it all on herb lore. We got a level. That's beautiful. We just got a level. 44 herb lore. One more level till we can actually make super attack potions. And I think we have the herbs in the bank to actually make those. I might actually hit a new farming level here, which is the farming level. That is only one level from where I'm actually supposed to be. As I said before, I'm only planting herbs because I don't want my farming to overshadow my herb lore too much. We still haven't touched the second batch of herbs, so we'll do that later this episode, but yeah, it's just really cool to just be one level from the farming requirement. Now herb lore. That's, <laughs> that's the big problem. Okay, here we go. I just completed the Klein of Karen quest, which will grant me two XP lamps to put on herb lore, so I guess I could do that. And we also got another milestone, which is 100 quest points. It's pretty insane on the Clues Girl Only Iron Man. Let's put these two antique lamps on herb lore real quick. I'm going to put the certificate on the Shazian house because that is the only house I actually need a favor for for heart clues to get into the Lizard Man Canyon. I think that's fair. Right, next easy clue is unique and that's the last piece. Oh no, that's not the last piece I need. I have tea. I have black tea. This is the first golden black skirt magic robe. What the f what am I saying? What, what actually am I saying? Either way, we're opening easy clues and still getting uniques. That makes me happy. Your boy about to hit the mega rare drop table with the new un- <coughs> I do believe that is a new unique. We got the whole Guthix book already, so that is not anything we need. But the skirt might be. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this game's necklace doing here? Get out. Obviously, I'm taking the mystery box. I'm so used to opening caskets. Here we go. Boom! What? How am I gonna apply for a quiz, get a prize, and there be nothing in the box? Really? Oh, this is already casket number 140. <sighs> you know, I'll take the trouts, you know I need the food. Literally the worst task in existence, but we got 45 Slayer on it. Infernal Mages, that's actually not too bad. The Infernal Mages drop Mystic Hats and Mystic Boots, which are the two pieces I don't have yet on my Mystic outfit, so if I ever get the task, it'd be great to get those, even though they are incredibly rare. They're one out of 512, but still, the opportunity is there. But this task is shit. 
10 more, so one more trip, hopefully. I'm farming like a madman, but I was wrong last time. This is actually one level from the requirement I need for Fairy Tale Part 2. We need 49, and this is 48 firing. Firing, I said that uh, I said that weird, but really I'm farming all day hoping to get as many herbs as I possibly can Look at this. I'm just running out of seeds I'm just scraping all the seeds. I still have for my bank. It is time We're here at the pest control bank ready for another herbal recession. I've got 200 of basically every herb I can use Rainars, Toflax, Arlanders and Irits. Shit ton of Irits actually. I'm hoping to get 51, maybe 52 from 44. So here we go. And we're off. Yeah, I'm in our dome bank because I kind of forgot a couple of secondaries. But here we are and we got 45 herb lore. That's how we start. Because now we can actually make super attack potions and we can use our irrit leaves. Alright, how beautiful does this look? Toad Flax with the secondary. Harlander with the secondary. Raynars with the secondary. Ready. 52 or 53. You know what? No, I'll, I'll keep it chill. 52. I'm happy with 52. Here we go. Oh, well, I'm herb luring so hard that I didn't notice that I got 1,100 total and 5 million total XP. I didn't even see that either. 49 herb lore at the moment, creating the prayer pots. We're, all, we're already down. Um, we already downed all the Harlanders and all the Toad Flax potions, but now the two big boys, the Raynars and the Irits. So I'm pretty confident we're gonna get 52. All right, the final batch of prayer pots, and we're just about to hit 50 herb lore. Oh my god, we're getting so close. We're getting so close. 52 herb lore. I think I need about the exact same amount that I needed from 44 to 52. The exact same amount of herbs somewhere around that. There is also a boost, a green man's ale, that I can drink and get a plus one boost in herb lore, so I only need 56 herb lore. That's four more levels. I think that is about 600 irids. Very special milestone coming in right now, something I didn't quite expect to get out of this grind, but we got 65 thieving. A lot of stuff we can do right now. Pickpocketing Menified Thugs probably being the most important one. Not that thieving is a main goal right now, but it's a pretty... <laughs> Pretty special level to get, 65 is pretty high from just pickpocketing ham members and now pickpocketing monster farmers. But I need arid seeds and I'm not getting any. And as long as I don't have the seeds to continue my farming runs, I can't do Slayer. Pretty annoying that I'm really dependent on these farming seeds. Yeah, here we go! Yeah! 49 farming, which is the requirement for Fairy Tales Part 2. We've got the farming requirement out of the way. God damn it, phone. We've got the farming requirement out of the way. Now we only need the herb lore requirement, which we should be able to get this or the next episode. I'm planting irrits right now. The biggest problem is actually getting the seeds. Four more herb lore levels and we can actually boost up to 57. Come on. It's time for an upgrade. This mithril scimitar is not doing it for me. I want a big boy weapon. And if you need a big boy weapon, you're coming to the Champions Guild. So we're buying the rune sword. Um, I was so done with that Mithril Simi. I didn't even realize that there was actually the Champions Guild which sold the Rune Sword. So, really happy with this new upgrade. Let's slay some Ice Warriors. Here we go, another casket while just doing a farm run. <gasps> another Bob shirt, but I... Bob's black shirt. That is not too bad. I already have a Bob shirt, but... You know what? Might as well collect all of them. I think this is my 40th Slayer task I'm about to get, so I'm about to test Crystillia for a Wilderness task. It will get me more points, or more bonus points, for my 40th completed task, and I have heard that I might be able to get emblems if I go in a bounty hunter world or something like that and get an upgrade scroll. There we go, the Ring of Wealth scroll, which in return can upgrade my Ring of Wealth, so I can make a Ring of Wealth eye, so I can kill hellhounds in the wilderness to more easily get hard clues. That was probably a lot of information, but I hope you get it. Anyways, <laughs> let's get our wilderness task. Hopefully something decent. My task can only be done in the wilderness. I know. Yes, I do understand. 11 black D... 111 black demons? Well, it's really unfortunate, but I'm canceling this task. Yes, I'll need a new task. Oh, this hurts. This really hurts. But unfortunately, the black demons, it was one way too many, two way too high combat level. But that wouldn't have been a problem if they actually had some decent loot. But considering they only have a rune medhelm and a rune chain buddy on the rare drop table, there really is no point in actually going to kill them. Like, I would have done fire giants because I really, really, really want the rune scimitar, but black demons, they really don't have an upgrade for me. You know, we're actually decently close to 60 attacks, so I'm not complaining. Hopefully we can get that this episode, because I really want that dragon longsword, even though that's going to bankrupt me. Oh, zero points. That hurts. That hurts. I didn't know you got zero points. 
Oh my. All right, suck it up and move on. 149. <laughs> That's a weird ass clue. Are you are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't leave. Not again. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the second time. This guy just walks past, I say nice pet, and he gives me a bond and dips. <laughs> Why always when I'm in pure, is this really the spot where people go to find me? Pure, pure <laughs> I know I'm here like 80% of the time, but thank you so much. <laughs> Yo, 50 farming, that is probably the last level. Maybe I'll get 51, but I think I might almost have all the herbs for 56 herb lore. Which is pretty exciting, but man, this is a sick milestone. 50 farming, we can now grow Aventos, which is actually what we need for super strength potions, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it's Quarms, damn it. Yeah, that'll be a while before I can make those. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is Only Trails with a new casket, a beautiful casket, number 151 of the easy clues, and it is absolute trash. As usual, six law runes now, which we could use to teleport all over the map. Beautiful, that is my microphone was actually muted right when I got the milestone. Wow. But 60 attack. Holy shit. I'm actually going to switch over to defense right now and get 50 defense, but we're about to get the dragon sword. 100,000 trillion GPs. Thank you for the dragon long sword. Oh, look at this absolute champion. Here we go. Load up the spec. Ready? Boom! First hit. First hit. Boom! 13? Really? Boom! Dude, this dog is going down. 15 max hit. I'm reborn. Here we go, another small milestone coming in, also on dogs, by the way. <laughs> I keep getting this Slayer task, but we got 50... Come on, dude. Come on, Dragon Longsword. There we go, 50 defense. All right, and now we're going all out on strength until I can get higher tier items for attack and defense, but that won't be for a really long while. Like, I'm not going to be able to get Dragon Plate Legs and stuff like that anytime soon. So I might as well camp strength for a bit. The tier 70 weapons, like whips and everything, is going to take a very, very, very long time. So attack is something I'm gonna keep at 60 for a bit. Oh, we're back with a pretty special milestone, 50 Slayer. Oh, I didn't even check what we could kill now. Bloodfelds, that is pretty big. That is actually pretty big. We can also boost with a wild pie uh, to level 52 to kill jellies. Not that I'm going to do that. Anyways, 50 Slayer, pretty cool achievement. I think we're almost ready for the Herblore grind. Which would be really cool because my Slayer grind wouldn't be finished. I might be able to finish my Heart Clue and I could still use Slayer to get more heart clues. All right, I might I might have been lying. I might have been lying. This is uh this is the second farming level post 49 that I actually need for the quest. I do believe this might be the last level, but I really want to be sure to have enough herbs so we can smack out 52 to 56, no problem. So that's why I really want to be rather saved than sorry. But next episode, we're for sure finishing up the herb grind. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to end it off here. It was a pretty long episode, I believe. Either way, I hope you enjoyed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Next episode, we're done with every single grind. We're going to start building stash units. We're going to get 56 herbal. We're going to complete Fairy Tale Part 2 and complete the clue step. I swear to God, if I get a clue step that I have to drop after this one, I'm going to be so pissed. Anyways, I upload every Tuesday. So I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Peace out.